Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into the insightful world of how to think more effectively. This enlightening guide, crafted by the School of Life, an illustrious organization devoted to enriching lives through the humanities, unveils the art of refining our thought processes. Published in 2020, this book traverses a fascinating journey from the pangs of envy to the eloquent musings of Proust, all while mapping out the terrain of effective thinking. The School of Life stands at the forefront of emotional and intellectual development, with a belief deeply rooted in the power of humanities to foster emotional intelligence, wisdom, empathy, and unparalleled communication skills. Operating from global hubs like London, Amsterdam, and Seoul, it offers a rich tapestry of educational films, books, classes, and therapy sessions, all designed to cultivate a more fulfilling life. How to Think More Effectively is a beacon for reflective individuals aiming to elevate their cognitive prowess, creatives in pursuit of unlocking their latent potential, and anyone eager to harness a sharper intellect. Join us as we explore how this book enlightens its readers on nurturing more effective and enriching thought patterns, paving the way for a life brimming with insightful perspectives and profound understanding. How to Think More Effectively, a guide to greater productivity, insight, and creativity. Introduction. Unlock the power of enhanced thinking. Think about it. Everyday actions like debating which cereal to buy, solving a puzzle, or planning a trip hinge on your ability to think. Yet, despite its pivotal role, how often do we focus on refining this crucial skill? Chances are, not nearly enough. The journey to amplifying the quality of your thoughts can be both exhilarating and profoundly rewarding. You're about to embark on a path that transforms ordinary thinking into a toolkit of creativity, precision, and depth. It's not just about being smarter. It's about harnessing the power of thought to shape your world in richer, more meaningful ways. In this exploration, we'll uncover the intriguing reasons behind How envy, often seen as a negative emotion, can actually spark constructive change. The mysterious phenomenon of the shower thought, and why our best ideas often strike in the least likely places, and contemplating mortality's surprising role in fostering a more focused and thoughtful approach to life. Ready to revolutionize your thought process? Let's dive in. Part 1. Reassess to Progress why questioning your goals matters. In the game of life, setting priorities is akin to planning your moves on a chessboard. Most of us are convinced that we're grandmasters, adeptly navigating through decisions with our priorities neatly arranged. But upon closer inspection, it's evident that our ranking might be a tad inflated. Instead of engaging in profound contemplations on the value and significance of our goals, we're often caught in the whirlwind of achieving them without much thought. Consider this. Do you find yourself blindly chasing a higher salary without pausing to ponder whether it will indeed enhance your happiness or perhaps you're maintaining the status quo in a relationship that hasn't brought you joy in ages? Such scenarios highlight a disconnection between our actions and a deep understanding of what truly matters to us. The essence of the message here is clear. It's high time to allocate more energy towards scrutinizing our ideas, values, and ambitions. Adopting a more reflective approach to goal setting and prioritization doesn't happen overnight. It requires a deliberate shift in how we allocate our time. If you find that a mere fraction of your time goes to evaluating the merits and values of your intentions, boosting that percentage can illuminate new paths and possibilities. Embarking on this journey involves overcoming the initial discomfort that accompanies profound existential questioning. Tackling life's big questions, such as purpose, value, and significance, can evoke unease, but embracing this discomfort through practice is vital. Rather than diving headlong into action upon the arrival of a new idea, take a moment to scrutinize it. Probing questions that explore the essence, outcome, and importance of your plans 
can save you from the emptiness of unfulfilling achievements and relationships, questioning your motives with why, to what end, and of what importance might seem like a route to paralysis by analysis. Yet, the alternative, living a life chasing empty achievements and maintaining unsatisfactory connections, is far from appealing. Transitioning to a mindset that favors thoughtful evaluation over impulsive action allows for a richer, more nuanced understanding of what you truly seek. This recalibration of thought and action doesn't just enhance the quality of your decisions, it paves the way for a life resonant with purpose and fulfillment. Part 2 Embracing the Ebb and Flow of Creativity. Whenever we're engrossed in a masterfully written novel, a compelling speech, or an enthralling presentation, it's tempting to believe that the creator's journey from idea to execution was a smooth sail, a seamless flow of creativity from start to finish. This perception, however, couldn't be further from the truth. Behind the smooth surface of polished prose and articulate arguments lies a turbulent process of thought, a landscape marked by sudden surges of inspiration followed by vast stretches of stagnation. And yet, recognizing this does not diminish the creative process, rather, it offers a deeper appreciation for it. Here's the core takeaway. Ideas naturally evolve through a series of stops and starts. Take, for instance, the case of Marcel Proust, one of the most celebrated novelists of the 20th century, known for his magnum opus, In Search of Lost Time. The fluidity and grace of his language have enchanted readers globally. However, the impression that Proust effortlessly spun out his narrative could not be further from the truth. A closer look at his manuscripts reveals a labyrinth of revisions, edits, notes, and countless tweaks, showcasing an incessant battle with words. Proust's painstaking process was not a setback, but the cornerstone of his creative brilliance. This realization should liberate us from the guilt of not always operating at peak efficiency. Our brains are not designed for non-stop, high-intensity output, but are inherently prone to fluctuating productivity. Acknowledging this can transform our approach to creative tasks. Rather than chastising ourselves for not maintaining constant momentum, we should welcome these variations in our productivity. To navigate this uneven terrain, one practical step stands out. Keep a notebook. By documenting your sporadic bursts of insight, you anchor these fleeting thoughts in reality, affording them the opportunity to mature and evolve. In embracing the fragmented nature of creativity, we align ourselves with the real rhythm of inspiration. Like Proust, we can learn to work within our natural limitations, not as constraints, but as the very conditions under which creativity thrives. This perspective not only fosters a healthier relationship with our creative endeavors, but also paves the way for ideas to blossom in their own time and space. Part 3. Let your mind wander to grasp fleeting insights. Imagine if the clarity and value of our thoughts were directly proportional to their ability to stick around in our minds. Unfortunately, reality often operates on the inverse principle. The most profound ideas, rather than taking root, tend to flit through our consciousness like elusive butterflies, beautiful to behold, but notoriously hard to catch. This analogy has long been embraced by some of the world's most renowned thinkers. Take Vladimir Nabokov, for example. This celebrated Russian-American novelist likened the creative process of writing to the delicate art of butterfly hunting, capturing fleeting ideas and emotions with the net of language and conscious thought. So how does one successfully ensnare these metaphorical butterflies of insight? Interestingly, by doing something altogether different, by engaging in distraction. Here's the crux. Allowing your mind to wander through trivial distractions might just be the secret to capturing your most elusive thoughts. It sounds paradoxical, doesn't it? The notion that our most illuminating ideas emerge not in moments of intense focus, but rather amid mild diversions, like the rhythmic motions of shampooing hair or the monotonous gaze out of a moving train's window. And yet, 
you've likely experienced this phenomenon firsthand. Consider the last time a brilliant idea illuminated your mind while you were engaged in something as mundane as taking a shower or driving along a familiar route. It's as though these insights patiently wait for our vigilant guard to drop before making their grand entrance. Why does this happen? A partially engaged mind lowers its defenses, making it more receptive to ideas that might otherwise seem too jarring or disruptive under the microscope of focused attention. Novel ideas, by their very nature, can be unsettling, challenging the comfort of the familiar, and prompting us to question foundational aspects of our lives. As a result, our most groundbreaking thoughts often remain just out of reach, scared away by the intensity of our conscious scrutiny. However, in moments of gentle distraction, these ideas find the space to softly land and reveal their brilliance before we can unwittingly shoo them away. Embracing this understanding invites us to redefine productivity and creativity. By periodically allowing our minds the freedom to meander, we create fertile ground for rare insights to take root. This subtle art of mental distraction doesn't just enhance our capacity for creativity. It nurtures an environment where our most profound thoughts can finally find a home. Part 4. Turning Envy into Your Personal Guide Envy is like the stealthy shadow that trails us in moments of others' triumphs and achievements. It's a feeling we're quick to disown, taught as we are to celebrate the good fortune of others and shun the green-eyed monster. Yet, what if these pangs of envy are not merely obstacles to our peace of mind, but signposts pointing us toward our deepest aspirations? Consider this. The very essence of envy could be a breadcrumb trail leading straight to your heart's desires. This feeling, often so keenly avoided, holds the potential to unveil your genuine ambitions. It surfaces when we see in others what we wish for ourselves, casting light on desires we might have neglected or never even consciously acknowledged. Here's the principle to embrace. Envy can be a powerful catalyst in identifying your true desires. Imagine for a moment that each flicker of envy contributes to a broader, more comprehensive map, a guide to your ideal life. Whether it's the type of relationship someone else enjoys, the career success they've achieved, or the lifestyle they lead, every instance of envy offers clues to your own longings. However, the key to leveraging envy constructively is not merely to experience it, but to dissect and analyze it. It's tempting to let envy blur your vision, convincing you that your happiness is contingent on attaining precisely what someone else has. But therein lies the trap the misbelief that their happiness should be your model. True insight lies in peering beneath the surface of your envy to uncover the specific attributes that align with your personal aspirations. So how do you make this shift from feeling envy to learning from it? It requires a practice of introspection and precision. Generalized envy, I wish I had what they have, lacks the clarity necessary for growth. Instead, When you find yourself feeling envious of someone, for example, Yvonne from your office, delve deeper. Is it her wealth, her career trajectory, or perhaps her expertise in a niche field that triggers your envy? Specifying the root of your feelings is like decoding a personal message about your priorities and values. Neglect this introspective work, and you'll miss the transformative potential that envy holds. By approaching these feelings with curiosity and precision, you transform envy from a source of discomfort into a tool for self-discovery. In doing so, you not only come to understand your desires more clearly, but also illuminate the path towards achieving them. Part 5. The Enlightening Perspective of Mortality Picture this. You're tasked with curating the perfect ambience for a home study or library. Among the myriad of decorative choices available, an unexpected object was considered quite essential in centuries past. A human skull, stark and unyielding, with echoes of lives long gone. Far from mere macabre adornment, its presence served a profound purpose, to confront the beholder with the inescapable truth of mortality, 
This bone-chilling reminder wasn't meant to dismay, but to inspire a deep re-evaluation of one's life in the face of the inevitable end. Here's the essential insight. Reflecting on death offers a fresh perspective on living. Delving into the contemplation of death triggers two polar responses in people, each with its unique liberating power. On one hand, it imbues life with a sense of gravity and urgency. This arises from the stark realization that our time here is limited. Far too often we navigate our days under the illusion of endless tomorrows, procrastinating on our dreams, enduring rather than living. The reminder that death awaits whispers a poignant question. Why squander time on anything less than what sets our souls alight? On the other hand, death has a peculiar way of diminishing the magnitude of our worries. That rejection, the lost job opportunity, the myriad of small failures, in the grand scheme, do they truly matter? When faced with the grand finale of life, the minutiae that often dominate our concerns start to fade into insignificance. Through this lens, life's trials and tribulations lose their grip, providing a liberating sense of release from the gravity of everyday anxieties. Whether it stirs a newfound drive to pursue what truly matters, or offers a liberating detachment from the trivialities that weigh us down, contemplating death undeniably shifts our perspective. While keeping a skull on the bookshelf might not be everyone's choice today, the principle behind it remains ever relevant. Allowing ourselves to periodically ponder our mortality can awaken us to the preciousness of life, encouraging us to live more fully, consciously, and authentically. While death is the destination we all share, it's the journey, and the paths we choose along it, that defines the essence of our existence. Part 6. Embrace Doubt, the Mark of a Skilled Thinker One might presume that those who excel in the realm of thought, be they brilliant lawyers or captivating actors, harbor no doubts about their own convictions. This assumption seems logical, after all. Adept thinkers should trust the very skills that define their expertise. Yet, paradoxically, the hallmark of truly effective thinking is not unwavering certainty, but a profound skepticism towards one's own beliefs. This brings us to an essential principle. Nurture a healthy skepticism of your own beliefs. Skepticism, in its most constructive form, is an invitation to question, to poke and probe at the fabric of accepted wisdom. It's a commitment to a kind of mental agility a readiness to entertain the possibility that what we hold as true may not be so ironclad. The origin of this philosophical stance traces back to ancient Greece, home to a school of thought that championed the idea of acknowledging our intellectual limitations. The ancient skeptics were onto something profound. Our understanding of the world is often clouded by biases, distortions and errors. Accepting the likelihood of being wrong is a sign of wisdom, not weakness. You can spot a skilled thinker not by the decisiveness of their conclusions, but by the caution, nuance, and humility with which they approach their beliefs. Such individuals are mindful of the mind's capacity for deception, adopting measured and thoroughly considered viewpoints, always open to re-evaluation. Being skeptical doesn't equate to a refusal to commit to beliefs but it does mean adopting stances with caution and care, ready to revise them in light of new evidence or better arguments. Seasoned skeptics are wary of overgeneralization and rushed judgments, choosing instead to anchor their opinions in careful analysis and open-minded inquiry. To step onto the path of becoming a more discerning, and consequently more effective, thinker, one doesn't need to adopt complex methodologies. The journey begins with a simple yet radical willingness to entertain the idea that our current beliefs could be flawed. If you find yourself resisting this notion, you're on the right track. Questioning your own certainty is the first step toward a more nuanced and robust understanding of the world. So why not start now? Remember, embracing doubt isn't just about challenging the status quo. It's about affirming a commitment to lifelong learning and intellectual flexibility. Final Summary The essence of these insights revolves around a transformative approach 
to how we engage with our thoughts and perceptions. The journey toward enriching our lives and unlocking our full potential begins with a deep, introspective examination of not just the how, but the why behind our actions, ambitions, and desires. Key takeaways include the importance of continuously evaluating our ideas, values, and goals rather than passively pursuing predefined paths. We're reminded that the process of thought and creativity is inherently non-linear, characterized by unpredictable surges of insight and periods of stagnation. Embrace this natural rhythm as it is where true innovation and understanding gestate. Moreover, leveraging certain techniques can amplify our cognitive capacity. For instance, engaging in mild, deliberate distractions can foster an environment where elusive ideas can be captured. Similarly, confronting feelings of envy, not as societal taboos, but as clues to our hidden aspirations, can direct us towards our genuine desires. Contemplating our mortality might seem morbid at first glance, but it serves as a compelling lens through which we can prioritize what truly matters, stripping away the trivial and superficial. Above all, the journey to more profound thinking is anchored in skepticism, a relentless questioning of our own convictions and beliefs. This isn't a call to cynicism, but an invitation to a more nuanced, informed and open-minded engagement with the world and ourselves. In summary, refining the way we think is about fostering a mindset that is at once reflective and action-oriented, open yet discerning. It's about recognizing the power of our thoughts to shape our reality and choosing consciously the paths we want to tread. So, let the adventure begin. Embrace the complexities of your mind and the world. Keep thinking, keep questioning, and above all, keep evolving. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.